Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a short little video on some internal quick storage. On enterprise server equipment it's possible to get flash storage in the front of the server. Unfortunately I don't have any of that but I do want to have a little bit of a taste of what it's all about. So I purchased just the start of something that I'm gonna be trying to show you in this video. And um, well, on enterprise servers, you have, of course, you have a base in front of the server. And the normal thing is to have a two and a half inch base in front of the server. Then if you need uh, large storage devices, you can get servers that has 3.5 inch hard drive base in the front of the server. In the 2.5 inch base, you can put flash drives inside of a computer. Well, this is a PCI card, but well, they, they look like that. The M.2 form factor there, and, uh, and you put that inside and all is good. I really don't know why they haven't made this for servers. It would be pretty cool if you could just put those in front of the servers. It would really be able to fit a lot if you could just pop those in like an SD card. I don't know why they're not doing that. If you've seen the Space Odyssey 2001 at the very end where Dave kills the computer that has been trying to kill him, he pops out uh, memory and uh, they are like colorful sticks and well, they could do something like that. But that is what's being widely used inside of normal PCs today. Just pop in a storage um, M.2 stick like that. I have, um, I've had these in my shop for quite a bit where you can take in an M.2 storage uh, NVMe thing and pop it in your PCI Express port and you will have storage that way. But you're limited by the number of available PCI Express slots that you have in your server that you're not using for anything else. But in enterprise equipment, they have this form factor for flash as well. And then it's called a U.2, much like the M.2, but then it's called a U.2. And this you can pop in front of the server, just like in SATA or a SAS or an SSD. And then now a U.2 drive, which this is not, but which I'm playing like it is, because the U.2 drives that I've seen, they are like these fat ones. So uh, yeah, this, this looked similar. These uh, U.2 drives, they're, uh, they're pretty uh, pricey. Still, this is not a U.2 drive. I was too cheap to get one of those even though I probably should. So I purchased something else that we're gonna have a look at. U.2 drives are enterprise and they are costly. So the ones that you can get for a fair amount of money is kind of small. So uh, I purchased something from, uh, <coughs> you, you can probably see the lettering on this, came fresh off the factory in China. And it comes with a screwdriver and some notes that I don't know what says. And uh, um, I have had this out, but here is a tiny little case that looks like a uh, SSD, but it says U.2 NVMe SSD Gentry. And uh, it's, uh, it's the, some of the thinnest metal that I have uh, come across. But you can see something very different on that connector there. There are small pins in the middle off. Normally you have some connectors here for, for the signal and then you have some connectors here for the power but on this one you have something in the middle as well and if we uh, look at this one you can clearly see the difference and that they have put the connectors in exactly the same position so you can pop these drives in. SAS drive! <laughs> um, if it was a SATA drive there would be a hole between those two but it's a SAS drive. Sorry about that. Um, but the connectors are the exact same way. On my two newest Lenovo servers, this is actually possible. I can put in something called any drive in front of the server. Like I can exchange the drive bay in there. I can put in any drives and in that way I can put in these U.2 drives, SAS and SATA drives, uh, SSD if, if that is. But this one is magical because if you take the cover off, uh, you can put that there and then you just have a PCB inside you just flip that around <laughs> look at that we can put an M.2 NVMe drive in here or we can put an M.2 serial attached ATA SSD in here 
I don't think it can do both, but, but this way we can convert an M.2 which is widely available and, and way cheaper than these U.2 drives and mount those in the front of our server. So um, yeah, I thought that that was very interesting. So I've got two of those. I have one more here. I haven't opened this one yet. So uh, I don't think I don't think we need to do that, but I think we should uh, we should try and put an M.2 drive in here. And uh, as I already have this one, this one more or less does the exact same thing. Let's try and take these two out, put them in here. Both of these are pretty cheap. This one is a King Spec, which is uh, mostly available on Alibaba. And this one is a <laughs> King Dian, King Dia, which is also mostly available on Alibaba. So we have our drives there. We need the screws to fasten them down. So they come with this little metal thing that I shouldn't be dropping because it gets lost on the so it looks like that very nice and we can put that in hmm. okay this looks more right that's just a screw in there uh, okay we are figuring this out as we go so now we can mount this there is mounting uh, stuff with with threads in it that we can screw in and it looks like we need those long screws so that might be where that's for And we have uh, four holes for tiny screws. Like uh, said, uh, Lenovo has uh, on their systems the base to put in front of the server is called any base, and uh, those are available in different configurations where you can have like an amount of normal drives and then a few flash drives and you can also get the drive tray part where they're all flash drives but well now we have made ourselves an U.2 SSD thinky here with the uh, with the weird connections in the middle I am um, and there is a few extra parts here I got something else special here another box and this one is a PCI Express uh, card and it says U.2 so in this box we get the ability to put two U.2 drives inside of our server oh, and screws are coming everywhere like this we have uh, we have two connections here where we can put U.2 drives in so we can take our newly found <laughs> newly created U.2 drive and we can connect that to one of these ah, maybe I hope it fits yes it fits like that and we have the other one in the box that we can fit next to it and then we could put those inside of the server uh, NVMe I have no idea if it would be able to use both of them or if it would only be able to use one of them or you know the servers might have to do special stuff to use both of them I have messed around with some of this before in a previous video I was messing around with this card I never got it to work because the servers that I had didn't uh, they did not have that feature it's a bias feature that you need for it to be able to split up one two three four NVMe drives and uh, it's in on an x16 
PCI Express port, but the firmware in the BIOS needs to be able to have the feature of being able to split that up. If I put in four of these, it will only see one of them. So uh, we might have the same issue with this one that we can put two in here, but it will only see one of them. That could be an issue. But yeah, I thought this card was really interesting. So you could you could get some U.2 drives and you could still put them in your server and uh, you would of course uh, screw them onto the back here. It's a bit of overdoing it this way because right now I took the two M.2 drives, the NVMe SSD and the SATA uh, SSD and I put them inside this box and then I put them on this PCB and they were kind of doing the exact same thing on this board. The only thing that might be different is that, uh, well, this one needs a SATA controller to work. I don't think it's the case with this one. You would not need the SATA controller, but yeah, this one and this one, they were not cheap. This one is very cheap. For that, it's not a very financially good solution, but I just thought that it was very interesting that you could take two of these drives and put them on here. that and you could put that in your server computer whatever if you should just happen to have some U.2 drives left over from something this would actually be a cheap way to get them inside of our server in this case it's way overkill <laughs> okay I cheated a little bit and I put them um, I put the second one in I took one of these apart if you just want to put an m.2 NVMe SSD inside of your server. This is the way to do it because it's way easier and way cheaper than doing this. Uh, this method is for if you want to put them in front of your server. I only got this card because I don't have any way of putting it in front of my server. So uh, I, I, I wanted to see if this works. Okay, I cheated a little bit and I put it in this server. It was kind of a hassle to get it in there, but it does only see one of the NVMe drives this one I have called that um, it's called Billy NVMe which means cheap NVMe so uh, yeah if you want to learn a little bit of Danish if you call someone Billy and if it's a Danish woman and you call her Billy well you're gonna get in trouble and you'll have to walk home but I'll try and take it out and take out the one with only one NVMe in there and swap places and see if I can get another result. Okay, so I did a few more tests than you saw. I took one of the drives out, so I only have one drive in here with two uh, M.2s in there, but it only sees the NVMe disk in this configuration. Right now I have an M.2 SATA SSD in there and that doesn't show up at all. Uh, it's probably this card and probably I can throw this in the front of the server and it would work just fine. But as a PCI Express pop-in card, it did not show up. So, and my server will only see one of the two drives. This card is available with just one. So I should have just gotten that one. But, uh, well, the price difference wasn't that big. So uh, I got the one with two. But I would expect that in the future, this U.2 standard might be more widely available and the prices will come down and I might get my hands on them and now I've, I've tried them out for a little bit and I've shared that with you. So so this is where I'm gonna end this one. You got to see me messing around with the first U.2 drive that I've ever had to encounter. Well, I've, I've encountered them at fairs and exhibitions where they have been bragging about how fast they were and how expensive they were. But, well, but now I can kind of ninja hack my own one and, and put some fast M.2 NVMEs in there and yeah, I suspect that they would be as fast as the other one. My, maybe not as endurance as the Enterprise stuff, but as fast. So um, yeah, I'll be sure to link all the stuff that I've shown in this video in the description below if you want to go check that out. It might be an evil affiliate link where I'll be laughing all my well, my evil laugh all the way to the bank, but well, it, it will be down there. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.